out of my seat, short stack. Come on, Pierce. Mm, no. <laughs> Little girls can't drive. <laughs> make toys for work, Mom. Uh, not a toy. Models are how we test our theories in small scale. Can I help? Sorry, Pumpkin. You know that I know that you can do it, but only authorized adults can work on it. How's your car coming along? I think I almost have it fixed. <laughs> Peaches, no! Uh, I got him. Come on, Peaches. <laughs> Yeah, snackage. <laughs> What's this? It's a multicolored laser light with varying intensities that I've been working on. Like for concerts and shows and things. Huh. Holly Pocket, world's youngest special effects tech. <laughs> yeah, right. <sighs> Actually, Paxton, it's pronounced nincompoop. Holly! Grandma's here! Grandma? Polly, apologize to your grandma. No apology necessary. An old gal needs to get hit with a bolt of young energy every once in a while. All right then, well, I'm gonna take your bags upstairs. Uh, I thought you were only staying a week. Uh. Grandma. Oh, my Polly. Either I've been shrinking or you've been growing. Oh, your locket! Did I break it? Well, isn't that something? It's been broken for years, but it's never just opened like that before. I can fix it. I just got back from Constructo Camp. Hmm. It did open for you. Let's see what you can do. Thanks, Grandma. Huh. How old is this locket? It's probably from ancient times, like before unicorns went extinct. Unicorns didn't go extinct. They're mythological. Made up. <gasps> unicorns or not, luckily we live in a civilized time with Melody Gossip text alerts because she just dropped a new single! New Melody? Downloading in three, two... That voice gives me chills. What a performer. <sighs> so fashionable. If I had my way, I'd be Melody's special effects guru. <laughs> I would be her trend-setting designer. And I would be the most respectful and polite audience member. Audience? <sighs> you should be on stage singing with her. No way. Not in a kajillion years. I have a strict policy against public singing ever since the first grade <sighs> incident. <gasps> Polly, Johnny, newsflash! <gasps> Melody concert crews? We have to get tickets! <laughs> Ticket takers is sold out. Concert hub, sold out. Get that music, sold out! It's a conspiracy! Aliens must have bought all the tickets! Or, or everyone else in Little Tin likes Melody as much as we do. Lassai! I'm going home to consider how joyless my life will be if I don't get to see Melody! Yeah, I'm heading out too. The season finale of Kingdom of Orcs is on tonight, and I need to finish my latest chapter on my fanfic blog. Don't go! There has to be another way to get tickets! Did they teach you how to build a time machine at Constructo Camp? No. See ya, Polly. <sighs> Laters. I will get us to that concert. Jeannie, search for ways to get Melody tickets. All tickets sold out. Ugh, 
Genie, search for how to build a time machine. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, published 1895. What the? That's weird. Wait, it looks like it's missing an escapement. Genie, activate open source 3D software. Okay, if I duplicate the tooth width and extrude that from the root diameter... Yes! Yes, progressive rock band from... Genie! Shh! Pocket time? <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa! What in the world? Polly has left the room. Set Maker Station to away mode. As you wish, Polly. Genie, search for what to do when you shrink to four inches tall. Query does not compute. You're telling me. I'll get you the report ASAP. No, I, I'm familiar. Polly, Polly, Polly! Polly! Polly? No, Pax. Polly's in a room. Probably 3D printing a thingamabob for some thingamadoodle. Phew. Polly, I came as soon as I could. I only changed my outfit twice to make sure I had the proper attire for this, quote, urgent situation. And Shani got dressed up, too. Oh, <laughs> I was in the middle of a Y Girls marathon. I just got to the episode where Captain Rocco was replaced by a shape-shifting alien when I got Polly's text. Wait, where's Polly? Ooh, at least she left snacks. <laughs> but... Don't alarm the parentals. Code Red, alien shrink raid Polly. Or maybe it was mole people. Or raging leprechauns have replaced Polly with a tiny Polly lookalike. Ah! Shawnee, it's me. How do I know for sure? I'm the only one who knows about that time in first grade during the Chicken Little musical when you were singing your solo and... Okay, okay, shh. I believe you. Ooh, I could spin this tiny thing into a whole fashion statement for you. I can see it now. Tiny is trending. 
So, was it aliens or leprechauns? Neither. I was fixing my grandma's locket and bam! Mini-me! Enchanted amulet, of course. Ooh, 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 I got it, I got it! Your pocket-sized Polly Pocket and your signature piece will be... Pockets! Pocket shirts, pocket hats, pocket pockets! No time for fashion. Polly needs to get her grandma to tell her how to get big again. <laughs> no way she knows about this. She's just a regular grandma, not some secretly <laughs> powerful magic shrinky grandma. Besides, big's easy. Go big! <laughs> <gasps> oh, my polka dots, Galleria Grande has melody tickets! Turn them all! <laughs> Let's get those tickets! <laughs> Ew! You got my extra large slusher extra all over me! Oops. Sorry, Gwen. <gasps> How dare you come into my store and harm my granddaughter? It was an accident. You okay? Major embarrassment. Do I know you? She goes to my school, Polly Pocket. Hmm, Pocket, huh? And you must be Grizel Grande. I'm Lila. Love what you've done with the store. If you need a fashion consultant, give me a ring. How adorable. If you all are here for the tickets, get in line, single file, and quiet, please. We got tickets! Hey, watch the wares! Ill-behaved drug rats! Oh, luckily you take after me and are a bastion of maturity, order, intelligence. We're ordering intelligence? <sighs> okay, listen. We milk the munchkins for all they're worth. And once the moolah from this melody promo kicks in, we'll be living high on the hog. I'm gonna be just like you, Gigi. Let's munchkin these milks for all they're worth. <laughs> oh, boy. Until then, your next lesson. How to carry out a master plan. Sorry! We're sold out. Oh, but everyone else got flare. some. Yes, all gone. Only Melody herself could help you now. <laughs> Melody! <gasps> hey, everyone! Oh, this wasn't on the schedule. <gasps> Melody will give us tickets. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Melody, but if I'd known you were arriving, I would have arranged security. Oh, that's all right. I just wanted to say hello to all the fans. As sponsor of your concert, for your own protection, I must insist that you stay away from this horde. You'll be safe here until I can get proper security to escort you out. <gasps> Whoa. What's with the intense miniature model of Littleton? Oh, no freebies! You can't see her unless you pay for the cruise. And don't try getting past her. I have to try. Maybe I can sneak in and ask Melody for tickets. I know she'd give them to us if she knew what big fans we were. I don't know about this, Polly. Are you sure? I am. Get us those tickets, Polly! <laughs> 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 Hello, ah! girls. Everything okay? Hi, Polly's grandma. Nice warm weather we're having, huh? Yes. Now, what's so great about this ceiling that had you two so interested? Uh, well, that water spot kind of looks like... Coco Chanel. Uh, I suppose. Where's Polly? She's... um... Uh, Polly super tiny into the air duct. The air duct? We have to get Polly. Ah, 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 Polly! Hmm. Gwen, what is this trash doing on my floor? Oh, it came for you. For your miniature collection. Yes! 
the miniature chair I ordered. Perfect for that miniature person with tired miniature legs and my miniature collection. <laughs> Anything else in the box? Just a ton of perfectly miniature packing peanuts. Those are regular sized peanuts, Gwen. Get rid of the box. <gasps> oh, dear. Would you mind if I took that box? Hands off. This is my box. Now be a dear. Hey, what? Go! <laughs> what is all this racket? <gasps> Penelope Pocket. Griselle Grande? Oh, it's been so long. Mm, not long enough. Oh, is this your store? I must be in the wrong place. Toodaloo. Uh, bye. Penelope, what are you doing with that box? Just taking out the trash, dear. Huh? Huh? Follow her. Girls, if you don't mind, Polly and I need some alone time. You got it. You can come out now, Polly. Hi, Grandma. Thanks for saving me from certain doom and destruction. Well, I see you figured out how to get small. Do you know how to get big? Uh-huh. Go big! <gasps> GD! Well, I guess you figured out I fixed it. I never doubted you could. But if I knew you would be so quick, I would have told you before about the pocket locket. For ages, the locket's been passed through our family. Uh, physics are hard. Oh! Wait, just a moment. If matter thus draws matter, it must be in proportion of its quantity. Therefore, the apple draws the earth as well as the earth draws the apple. Gravity! I'm sure you know that your great-grandmother, 10th removed Prudence Pocket, was one of the founders of Littleton? Of course. All will be equal here. What you didn't know was that she was a locket bearer too. Hello? Watson, can you hear me? Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. When I was a young woman, the locket chose me to be its next bearer. Ah. Oh. Houston, the hatch door won't open. Like the locket holders before me, I wanted to show that the littlest person can make the biggest difference. One pocket-sized step for me, one giant leap for mankind. That's when I met Grizel. Hello, Rumi. Where have you been? Just a work trip. Nothing interesting. <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Good night. Huh? But Grizel Grande ended my mission to make a difference. Grizel Grande? That lady from Galleria Grande? Gwen's grandma? Exactly. Pocket time! <gasps> the power! Grizel and I had been friends. But when she realized the power and control that came with being able to shrink anything and anyone, she grew obsessed. How much do you want for the locket? I'll give you anything for it! It's not for sale. Then I'll take it! Oh, despite my efforts, I couldn't repair the locket. Mind blown. How come I never knew? After seeing how obsessed Grizel became, I realized how dangerous the power of the pocket locket could be in the wrong hands. That's why it's important to keep the locket a secret. Oops. I kind of told Shawnee and Lila. I think your friends can be trusted, but we must keep the word from spreading. What about Mom and Dad? Well, the locket broke before your father was born. And now, well, he can be a bit of a worrywart. Maybe best your parents don't know so they don't get worked up. No need for them to fret, since I won't be using the locket much at my age. Though, while I'm in town this week, we could use it. We? 
But all those big things the locket pocket is supposed to do sounded like a grown-ups only deal. True, the locket has always been held by adults, but I'm still the locket bearer, and you can be my, uh, accomplice. Ready to shrink? Together? You can do that? The locket bearer can shrink another as long as we're touching. You're small enough to begin with, so it'll be easy. Bigger things are a different story. Too much power at once. Oh, well, I don't even want to think about it. Pocket time! Yeah! <laughs> I almost forgot how wonderful it is! Come along, Polly! <laughs> And Polly was tiny like a little slug, but then she was big again! The locket has been fixed? After all these years of putting all my money into trying to replicate it and failing! But I can finally have the original! And stealing it from a little girl will be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> cake! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not talking about cake anymore. Come, Gwen, we've got work to do. 